Okay, so in order to start your photo montage, we will be using Pixar E, but what I've realized is the first thing you need to do is find the images that you want to use for your collage, and you're going to want to download them. To download them, you have to um, go over to the four, three dots over here, and then choose the option download. Now, if you were just saving your images right on the desktop, then you wouldn't necessarily have to do the download because they would be on your desktop. But given that um, I wanted you to save them um, in a folder, you probably have put them all into your um, Google Drive. Uh, and sadly, you can't really navigate so easily to that using um, Pixlr. Um, so uh, you can see that I have gone into my folder to find them. And again, when you were doing your folder, you just wanted to take your first initial, um, last name, and uh, add the word uh, photo montage. And then you'll click on it and you'll find all your images in there and you want to just go ahead and just start picking the ones that you want to use for this particular collage. So you can do a few different collages. So uh, you may want to just select a few images at a time or you could go ahead and download all um, 10 of your images. It's up to you. But opening them up is going to make it possible for you to then take them and um, add them to your collage. So again, click on the image you want, go to the three dots, and then pick download. And what that is doing is it's taking each of your images and it is moving them to um, your download so that you'll be able to find them um, more easily when you go to make your collage. So I'm just going in here and taking a few of my images here. So, um, and a lot of these pictures um, I took on my own and you are totally uh, welcome to use your own photographs. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go into this program called Pixlery. And uh, the way you're going to find it is you will just go into the search and go Pixlr E, and you'll be able to see it come up and go to this one right here. And what this is, is if you've ever worked with Photoshop, it is very close to working with Photoshop. So you're going to go to Create New. And I'd like you to choose this third one in that says full high definition, 1920 uh, times 1080. And then you can give it a name. And I'm going to go S. Lawson Photo Montage. Now, if you do a few different photo montages, you could do um, photo montage S. Lawson photo montage one, S. Lawson photo montage two, uh, if you wanted to do more. Because once you get into um, creating them, you might have uh, fun exploring different options. So I'm going to go create. And now what I have is a blank document. Um, and what I'm going to do is click on this little plus button over here. And what that's doing is it's adding a layer. Photoshop works in layers, and so does Pixlr E. And what that does is it gives you the flexibility and freedom to overlay your images without affecting the image below it. So I'm going to come in here, and I want to take an image. So I'm going to go image. And then I want to go to my downloads and I'm going to just start opening up some of my images here. So I can click on this one here. Okay. And then I can go and you can see it's a little big. So if I wanted to scale it, I just simply pull in at the corner. And now I have this big crow here like that. Okay. So then I can go ahead and I can go get another image. So I'm going to go right to my downloads and I'm going to get this nice full moon. 
And now I have that as another layer. So I'm going to pull in at least four different layers just so I can show you some of the things that you can do with these images once you get them in. So I'm going to go here, just go click to image, and um, I'm going to go to, I'll get my flowers here, click flowers and go open. And it's going to give my flowers and you can see it's coming in very large so i can just take these corners and pull them in and it's going to make them uh fit in the 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 format a little bit better okay so i can still take that down some more if i want to and then um i'm gonna go like this right here all right and then i can go uh plus and if i wanted to put text and say i am going to get this from um the lyrics of a song um uh let's see um uh gosh i can't think of a uh, sweet dreams all right lyrics uh, you can just like get whatever uh, lyrics you want. This is sort of what came to mind. Um, and if you get them actually as text, you can then um, take your text and you could just uh, pull out the words uh, that you want to ha have in your collage. Uh, so I'll just take this. Okay, and then I am going to go edit and I will copy and then I'm going to go into my Pixlr E and where it says that famous, whoop, whoop, where'd it go? I'm going to just hold on. I will go to here again and I am going to go command V and paste. And so now you can see I have my words in there. And once they're in there, you can edit the font, you can edit the size. Um, and, uh, I might want to get rid of this one here. I don't need that. Um, and I will be able to then work this into, uh, my collage, right? So, um, now, oh, cancel, cancel. All right. So now I have a few different layers and I'll, I'll, I'll show you what they are. So layer one is blank. So that's kind of my background layer. Layer two is my bird. Layer three is my moon. Layer four is my poppies. And then I have my word sweet dreams. All right. Now you got all of these great things that you can do with these layers. Now, in order to move a layer, you have to be on that layer. It has to be active and then you can move it around, right? If I wanted to make the moon come all the way over here, uh, you want to be on that layer and that is going to allow you to move but you do want to be on the move tool in order to um, move your image around okay so now the fun begins so each one of these layers has a menu over to the side now one of the things you can do is you can play with transparency so if i wanted my flowers to be less opaque I could simply take down the opacity and now you can see the moon coming through and you can see the writing, okay? That is one way and you can see here's full opacity and then this is gradually taking it down in opacity. All right, now here's the fun thing though. You can use this menu right here and every single one of these do something different. So you can see that this one I can see the moon coming through, but I can still see the flowers. You can see this one is going to screen it, lighten it, and each one of them, every single time I click on it, it's doing something slightly different, okay? So you might want to choose the one that you think is most interesting, uh, and then um, go ahead and then figure out, well, what do you wanna do with your other layers? So this is a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, experimenting in the sense that you kind of have to go through each of these things to see what they do because every time they um, interact a little bit differently. All right, so 
if I like the way this is and I want it on screen and maybe I want to take it down a little bit, I can go like this. Then I can go to my moon layer and maybe I want to do something different with my moon. So I can come in here and I can go ahead and I can experiment with these different layers. And now you can see that my crow is coming through. So I'm getting a little bit more uh, of uh, visibility of the different layers. Um, and then um, I can then decide like maybe I like the way that looks. Um, I can then go over with my crow and I can move my crow over. I can move the moon over. I can move the flowers. Um, to see what I want it to look like. So you get to play with these things and really bring them out. Now I'm not keen on these little people here, so I'm gonna go to my crow and I wanna make it a little bit bigger so I can crop out those people, all right? And um, I can then come in and move my crow down a little bit. Oops, not my flowers, my crow. So you're gonna make sure you're on the right one. Oops, and sometimes when it's underneath, you have to like move that other one out of the way. So it's a little trial and error there. Uh, but uh, you wanna just go ahead and work things out. You can also change the order of your layers. And in doing that, it's also going to um, decide, it's going to make something more dominant or less dominant. So if I want my moon to come up here, and I might want to change it from difference to something else so I can have it show up a little bit more. But you can see that it's affected by the order it is in the layer. And um, because my moon is way over here, you can't really see it, right? So I can go here and then I can then go and see what each of my layers do. And, um, that is really what you want to do is just sort of experiment with these different layers to come up with an image that you think is interesting. And that can be um, by moving your images around, scaling them, right? So maybe I want these flowers to take up the whole page so it doesn't go off the edge like that, right? Um, I could make my moon bigger so that I don't have... Um, uh, it with the, the uh, space showing. And then again, I could take it and I can move it in different places, right? So wherever the, the order is, uh, it will have different effects. Now with the text, you can uh, change your text to uh, have be a different font, but you do need to be on the text tool to do that. Uh, so I can come in here and now I have it selected and I can go and I could choose a different font. Like maybe I like this one here. Uh, and then maybe I want the size to be bigger so it fills up the whole page. Uh, oops, whoa, that's gonna be really big. Uh, so I can come in here and then move it up. I can also change the color of it. So maybe I want this color not to be black, maybe I want it to be uh, another color. So I can take it and I can change uh, the color of the text um, by, let's see, right, if it's, I have to have it selected. So if I select it, uh, I can then change my color. Um, so let's see if I could go maybe here and see what that does. Uh, maybe, uh, I know you can change the font. There we go, all right. So, uh, where is edit, edit. I know you can do color somewhere. I'm gonna help you find it. I don't know why it's not changing that color. Oh, maybe it's because of uh, the uh, format here. Let's see, letter, styles. Uh, background curve shadow. Oh, we can put a shadow on it. Why not? Let's do a shadow. Um, but I'm trying to find where the color is so you could do. Oh, there we go. So yeah, there you go. Go to the fill and then you could find the color that works for you. So you can see 
that if I wanted a light, light pink, I could go here, I could go yellow, I could go green. Um, but you can then play with these colors. You can also do the styles, put a drop shadow, um, an outline. Um, you can choose the color of your outline. So maybe I want it red. And you can see that it will put that outline on there, which I'm not fond of. Uh, um, but that is kind of what you're going to do. And you know, with the text, get this, you can also go ahead and you can play with the way that your text interacts with your image. So if you think about what's going on here, everything is sort of stacked on top of uh, one another. And you're basically affecting how do they interact with each other. Um, and through controlling that, you can decide how dominant you want something to be or how uh, subdued. Um, and that will allow you to just have a little bit of variety in your piece. Now, I do want to show you one other thing. And that other thing is, is you have this wonderful bank of images. So if you go image, oh, oops, cancel, wait, let's see, plus, I know it's in here somewhere, uh, empty shape, okay, no. Uh, we're gonna go to uh, file, uh, browse, do, 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 do. I know, open image, new image, edit, image, image size, wait. There is going to be uh, one where you can download an image, but I can't remember where it is. Uh, open image URL. Uh, okay. Maybe it's new image. And is it? No. Cancel. All right. I'm going to help you with this. I know it's in here. Uh, but you do, there is, oh, stock search. Go to this one, stock search. And say I wanted uh, in the background, I wanted, uh, oh, look, they just randomly pick things up for you. Like, Whoa, like I bet this would be really cool. Um, maybe I'm going to bring, oh, I don't know. I'll try this one. Okay, apply. Okay, so what it's going to do is it is going to bring it in on its own layer. And what you would need to do is select all, edit, copy, go into your collage, and then go edit, paste. And it's going to put that in there, and then you can decide uh, how you want it to blend in with your image. So it just gives you a whole other thing that you can work into your collage. So you could be more scrutinizing about the one that you pick, but I do think that looks pretty cool. And again, don't always just settle on where it lands because you can move that image wherever you want as long as you're on this move tool. And I could make it, um, I could flip it. Maybe I want to do, let's see, flip horizontal. And then I have it coming along the bird. And that's kind of a little bit more interesting to me. Um, you could also scale it. So I could scale it. So I'm just getting that little edge around there. Uh, and I'm coming in. And I want my bird to fill the whole page. So I might then have to go to my bird layer and move it in a little bit. Which one is not full? Oh, it's my flower layer. Uh, no, 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 flower layer. So uh, you just have to, like, it's a little like uh, figuring out which one, because I like having them a little bit more flush, but, you know, I'm not going to labor that for you. Uh, uh, I'll let you play with it and find it on your own. Um, and again, if you decide you're like, maybe you want this layer to come forward, you want the flowers to be up there more, you can move it around. What I really want is I don't. Uh, and say you get to a point here and you're like, Ugh, this is really annoying me how that edge is like that. You can use a crop tool and you could simply just come in here and go crop and go enter. And now I've cropped off that part that I don't like. So. There you go. There's a lot in that. Um, and I hope that you find it fun because it is uh, a lot of uh, possibility here. And I want you to create a few photo montages. So there you go. That's that.